What's going on everybody? It's your boy Larry O. Welcome back to another video. Thanks so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be going over the reverse reverb trick on vocals in FL Studio. Some of you might know this trick, but there is a little step that I added in here that you may not know. With that being said, we're going to hop right into the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you get me. Let's listen to the section where I want this reverse reverb trick to happen. There's a big gap right here, so what I'm going to do is take this phrase in the vocal, chop it, copy and paste it down. Then I'm going to make it unique, save it, reverse that sample. Now I'm going to head over to the mixer, and on that channel of that vocal, I'm going to open up a reverb too, and then an instance of Edison right after that. Now we can stretch this window out here, and in this reverb plugin, I'm going to set my settings here. I'm going to have high decay. A lot of wet stereo separation and make a nice big spacey room. That sounds perfect. Now let's arm Edison to record. Time it up here and hit play. The key here is to let it ring out nice and long to get a long reverb tail out of it. Once that's done, you can stop it. And now we're going to pull this sample into the playlist. Once that's in the playlist, we can go into the mixer and turn off the reverb and Edison. We can also get rid of this reverse track that we put in here. All right, so now I'm going to double click on the sample and reverse that. I'm going to turn generic bleeding on. We're going to level out the volume and send it to its own mixer track. And I'm going to throw a parametric EQ2 on that. We're going to cut some lows, cut some highs, make it sort of that radio walkie talkie effect. I'm also going to stereo delay the sound a little bit, make it sound a little bit wider in the mix. Now back to the mixer, I'm going to go to that track and stereo separate a little bit more, add some reverb and delay with these sends. Now back to the playlist, we're going to trim the end of this tail and we're going to time it into that vocal now. I'm just going to trim a little bit off the end and line it up to the beginning of that vocal. Double click, fade in a little bit. Actually, let's go to automate some volume. Bring this down here. We're going to kind of ramp this volume up. See how that sounds. Let's go back to that tab and add some panning automation. Let's bring a point down here so we can go from left to right and then kind of back into the center. We can actually fine tune this a little bit. I'm going to change the grid and add another point here. See what this sounds like. That sounds great. Let's actually give it one more listen and I think we're good to go. That's going to do it for this one. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you get me.